Yo, bro, what's the matter? It's Christmas Eve, and all the shops have already closed for the night. I have no idea what to get Kala for Christmas this year. Well, not all the shops, though. Our guru's weaponry slash jewelry shop is still open, so you still might have a chance to get her a present this year. I don't really have a whole lot of money to get her an expensive gift. I guess she'll never love me. Listen, bro, you don't have to get her a present in order for her to love you. But she's gonna be very upset if she sees no presents under her tree. Listen, man, she loves you no matter what, and I don't think she'll ever find a guy who looks good and handsome and must look like you. Not to mention, you two have the ability to cast dark magic to anyone that bothers you. And those fucking normies oppose us because they think we're supernatural creatures. They believe we are a spawn of Satan or some other shit. These pussies should be glad that we saved their little butts from the undead creatures taking over the earth. Because the normie population was plummeting in a fast rate. And we don't allow those pricks to join our group, especially how they treat us at school. Come on, old man, let's head back to the house. Mom is probably waiting for us there. Wow. This is really good, Mum. I agree. You really know how to make a great dish. Thanks for inviting me over to your house, babe. And I'd like to thank you, Mrs. Hemlock, for cooking an amazing dish for all of us. You're welcome, Kala. That food was delicious, honey. You really enjoyed it. I'm glad you liked it, dear. Who oh, is that nice lady eating at our dining table? This is Kala, Olenjandro's girlfriend. She's going to be spending the night here in our house on Christmas Eve. Oh, okay. No worries, honey. Anyway, I'm heading to Beno. You three stay out of trouble, all right? All right, all right Dad. Dad. Okay, now that I dressed into my pajamas, let's see what Alejandro is doing at the living room. Hey babe, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Are you sure? If something is bothering you, you can tell me. Well you see Kala, I didn't have the time to get you an amazing Christmas gift this year. I just didn't have a whole lot of money with me. I had to donate $2,500 to one of my poor cousin's family from Mexico. They didn't really have a whole lot of money to buy lots of stuff. They had a meager supply of food, so every day they would miss dinner. Wow, that's sad. I'm glad you helped them out, because not everyone is rich. So I'm not mad that you didn't get me a present this year. Honestly, I would be more mad if you didn't help your cousin out. I know $2,500 doesn't seem a whole lot of money, but it should be adequate for their needs. Anyway, I've always asked Santa for a pet Jinjo for Christmas, but he never gave me one. Kala. You know Santa doesn't give people magical stuff, or mythical creatures to people for Christmas, right? I know, but I've always wanted one when I was little. Anyway, don't you think it's a little weird to watch a horror movie on Christmas Eve? We're not little kids anymore, Kala. We shouldn't be watching movies that are met for small children. You do make some valid points there, Alejandro. So this must be Christmas bloody Christmas, correct? Correct. Don't you think this movie is a little scary for us to watch? Nah, we've seen far scarier shit than this. Like the normies getting torn apart by the zombies or werewolves. True, but let's get back to watching this movie.
How the heck was that sound? What's going on, babe? I heard a noise coming from this living room. Yeah, like what? Jinjo. Quick, turn the lights back on, babe. Hun, I see two presents under the tree with our names on it. Yeah, but who on earth is Weaver Claus? Isn't Santa supposed to be delivering everyone presents? Not sure, I've never heard of Weaver Claus before, I suppose we should open our gifts. Oh boy, I wonder what it is. Oh, I've always wanted a pet Jinjo. Please don't hurt me. It's okay little fella, I won't hurt you. This is like the most precious gift I've ever gotten. I've always wanted one as a little girl. Me and you are gonna be friends, little fella. I wonder what Weaver Claus got me. Nice. I got some amethyst gemstones. I'm sure these would come in handy whenever I decide to make a cool ass weapon out of them. Huh, there's a note. I wonder what it says. Dear Alejandro and Kala, I'm glad you too didn't use your powers to bring fear to the innocent people that reside in Springfield. I only give out presents to those who possess any magical powers and don't cause harm to others. Merry Christmas, Weaver Claus. Wow, thanks Weaver Claus. Oh my god, this is amazing. I've never thought I would ever get a pet dragon for Christmas. And I even got some potions that'll prevent me from becoming a zombie. Nice. I got two resurrection files, just in case if I, or one of us dies, we'll come back to life. And I even got an elixir of life potion as well. This would definitely boost my physique levels. Oh, a note from Weaver Claws. Dear Carson, I'm glad that you've been behaving well this year. You've saved a man's farm from being attacked by bandits. Plus, you've even helped someone from committing suicide. For this, I shall grant you your very own pet dragon for Christmas, as well as potions. Try to observe for any changes on the egg. When it hatches, try to feed it raw meat. The dragon should reach full size in about 24 months or so. Usually, it would take 100 years for him to reach adulthood, but I did something to speed up the progress, those midnight crushers would stand no chance against it. Thanks for being part of the guild. Merry Christmas, Weaver Claws. Don't you think my sister should open her gift? Nah, let's wait until morning, I don't want to wake her up, or my kids.